Hello everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Trade Lands Sailing 101 Guide by Southwest379. Before I start, I just want to say if you found this video informational at all or anything, um, please make sure to like. And I am going to be doing more Trade Lands videos, but I mainly do uh, Flight Simulator videos. Um, so if you like that too, then please subscribe. And if you're interested in Trade Lands too, please subscribe. So, uh, another thing I want to say before we start is, this is not a guide to the game itself, this is just a guide to get around the map easily in things. Now, first I just want to say, um, nah, yeah, so let's start. So, first thing you know is that to control your ship, um, I now have a, a Phasens, this is the kind of ship I have. I'm at Nova, but I'm in a white crush ship. So, yeah, just, you yeah. know. In order to get the ship to move, you have to be in the helm seat. Now, every ship has a helm. There's no autopilot. So. Mm, okay, well, don't quote me on that. Some ships do have autopilot. But not any ship in Treylands, no. Um, and then to move forwards, you press S. That puts up the sails. You put A to... Uh, turn to the port side and then you press D to turn to the Star Wars side. Bows can't go backwards in trade lands, they can only go forwards and you can press S to put the sails down, but that doesn't make it go backwards. You'll have to turn around. And also I'm gonna say port and starboard because when we're talking about ships, the left side is called the port side. And the right side is called the starboard side. Now the next thing you should know is that um, on your keyboard you can press M to open up the map. Or you can just press this right here. Um, this is going to help you navigate. If you're sitting in the helm, the air, um, it'll be showing that you're going in the direction that the ship is. But if you get out the helm, you'll be going in and it'll face any direction that you your character. You press E to get on the helm and you press space to jump out. Be careful when you're getting out of the helm because if you jump too high you're gonna go back and then you might just go off the ship and if your sails are up then that's no bueno because then your ship is just running away from you. Um, yeah, You can freely walk around the ship but just make sure not to fall off. You can even walk on the bowsprit here. I have a figurehead. Do you want my figurehead? Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah. So the next thing you should know is uh, the wind direction. Um, sailboats rely on wind. That's what they have the sails for. They don't have a motor, like a motorboat or some other ship or something, like a cruise ship or something. They rely on wind. Um, that's why they have all these sails to, you know, use the wind to make the ship go forward. But if you don't know which direction the wind's going, it's going to be harder. So every ship has a flag. That's just to tell which country you're with. And, or maybe if your thing doesn't have a flag, it might have a little rope. Um, it might have a little pole with a rope here. But it's going to have some way to tell which direction the wind is going in. And in this case, it's the flag. So the direction that the flag is facing is so right now it's here. Right, is a direction that the wind is going. Um, the side that the wind comes in from is the windward side, so that'd be this side. And the side that the wind um, that this is facing towards is the leeward or leeward side. You can call it either of those two. Um, yeah. Your the sails will turn in those directions, so the boom will turn. And so that boom up there, which means the sails will turn, which means it gets more uh, wind. Because you can't have it on this side or else the wind would push it back. Now it changed. Now I'm going downwind in my, and I'm in running, which is a point of sail. So this is, downwind is very fast. Um, well, I won't say before yet, uh, oh well. but yeah. So I'm going to turn here. Oof, I'm gonna 
turn back a little bit. See, so now that the thing went to the other side, if you if you're turning and that happens, it's called tacking. When the thing is going to when the boom is going to slide over with the sails, and this is going to rotate here. So yeah, um, and the more the and the more uh what the the more the flag is um going like congruent with the boat direction itself, the the less the boom is going to be out to the side. So, like if I did this here, it's not as far out to the side. It comes in a little bit. Well, actually, that was a good example, but oh wow. You see what I mean, right? It's all nice, so yeah. The sails on the front of the boat are called the front soles or the jib sheet, and then these are called the well, this would be the mizzen, and then this is the main cell. Yeah. And this is the mizzen mast, this is the main mast, and then the jib sheets don't have a boom. They're just attached to, they're just attached to the bowsprit and then to the uh, main mast. Or whatever mast is in the front, the front mast. The back of the boat is called the stern, the front of the boat is called the bow. However, this finger here is called the bowsprit. And this thing right here talked about it earlier, this is called a figurehead. That doesn't do anything, it's just there for show. So, yeah, that's how you do that. So, what you don't want to do when you're sailing is you don't, so there's, okay, so, well, I should explain this differently. So, there's different, uh, the way that your ship is going with the wind is called a point of sail. So, this Point of, and I'm not going to go over all of them because I don't really know all of them. But this is called in irons, and you don't want to be in irons. Okay, so uh, before I show you this, I just want to give you this photo here. Um, this just explains all the points of sails. I'm going to go over uh, in irons, beam reach, and running because those are the only four I can remember at the top of my head. Um, so, yeah, just you can take a look at this for a bit, and then we'll continue. Because that means that you're going uh, upwind and you're hardly going to move at all. I mean, look at how fast I'm going. Alright. And uh, if I did this, and I sit in 90 degrees and I'm uh, 90 degrees to the wind, this is called uh, beam reach. And that's the same on the other side, too. So, yeah. If I was fully, uh, well, let me just go a little further, so yeah. So, see, it's on this side. Now, if I were going the other way, this would be on the other side, and that'd still be beam reach. Just want to make sure you understand. There's not, there's not a thing where it's going off to the port side or to the starboard side. It's still the same, and it's that point of sale. Uh, if I were to go fully um, downwind, like I am here. Um, it depends. Usually in real life, maybe like one jib sheet's out this way, and then it went out this way, and then one sail's out this way, or another sail's out this way, and that happens and things. Or you have a big sail right here, and that just gives you some extra wind. But if I was going where the flag was going fully over, oh my gosh, the wind keeps on changing. I'm still at beam reach. Or I'm still in that beam reach area. Okay, good to know this ship here is not going to crash into me. Hope not. It's not beam reach now. It's just. Okay, the wind's being difficult. I can't give you this example of the way I need to. This is called running. Because you're running with the wind. And yeah, at that point of sail. So those are four basic points of sales. If you search it up, you'll find um, all the points of sales. Uh, I don't know them all. I only know those. Those four. So yeah, that's smart. I'm, I'm still pretty smart, right? I'm still pretty smart. So and yeah, I was talking about tacking, but that's basically when your uh, when your leeward and leeward side changes. So right now, this is my leeward side. 
This is my windward side. Uh, let's see, or to just do this. And the boom went in the other direction. Come on, boom. See, that's attack, because now this is my windward side, and this is my leeward side, so, yeah. But I'm going to continue turning, so I'm back beam reach again. I think it's called beam reach. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think so. I might, I might have to look that up to confirm it. Oh, I'm sorry, that might be a mistake. I'm not fully sure, but I know that when you're going down, when it's called running, and when you're going up, when it's called in irons. So, yeah. Let's just turn this way now. Alright. So let's just tag. I think this might. Is this my tag? Might not. Oh, I, well, that wasn't a tag. I guess it gets the wind move with me. Oh. Oh, great. Well, now I'm in irons. I'm just gonna do this now. Yeah, that's the reason why I meant to work with this. Okay, well, that's no big deal. Uh, I'm just sailing around behind White Crest to show y'all what it is. That ship is big. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's basically it. You press M and you can just go to your destination, and that is a uh, it. So there's a. I don't know what the fastest point of sail is, but I know that beam reach is the slowest. I mean, no. I'm sorry. In irons is the slowest. Beam reach. Some people think that it's beam reach that's the fastest. I agree with them. I, I think it's beam reach, but it might be running. I don't know. It. I, I don't know. But I think it's beam reach. That's the fastest point of sail. Now, uh, dang it! Well, technically, between beam reach and in irons, I don't know what it's called because I don't know this point of sail. But. Uh, I'm just gonna turn to Nassau. Oh, well, that just put me fully in irons. Here, I'll just turn more this way. Alright, now we can turn back this way and get a win. See, that's attacking. The boom went to the other direction. Okay. So, yeah, this is just, that's the basics, uh, just, some, okay, now some tips, yeah, some, some tips. So, let's say I was going to Whitecrest, and then I was going up to the northeast, of course. Also, yeah, you should really know the directions on a map. This is the north, east, south, west. <laughs> Oh yeah, south what? What? It's south west, and then this is the southwest. This is the southeast. This is the northeast, and this is the uh, northwest. Down here is where I want to be, cause that's southwest, and I'm southwest. Subscribe to southwest, please. Help me out. I am southwest. <laughs> well, let's say I'm going in northeast to Nova Barresca, because I do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I'm going northeast, right? Yeah, and so and then my boom's out this way, and then this is my windward side. No, this is my windward side. This is my windward side, right? And then uh, let's say the wind changes, and it's not going down to the southwest anymore. Now it goes to the west. Uh, then what you would do is, if you're, I mean, you're going to the northwest, right? So you get less wind. Or let's say it just went into northeast, right? Then you can turn to the, uh, and if, if the wind direction changes, you can use the wind direction 
to get like so let's say I was here right and the wind direction changes um I can go here it just works for the new wind direction and I can and then when I'm here below no VRS guy I can use it and let's say the wind direction's here right going to the southeast and I can go back up. So yeah that's just a quick tip on how to get by even if the winds are not uh well because let's say the wind is going southeast right you can use the wind like this to go west you don't get as much wind but you'll get more and if you just go straight up you'll be in irons right you won't be in beam reach either um but you you can go to this and, and when you're right south of nova you can turn and then go north and then if you're not in irons and the wind doesn't change back then you're good right and you're going back and you're you're you're, you're yeah yeah and you're going back up to nova and you're going to reach your destination so i'm just going to do an example of docking you can press f to decrease R to increase this video. Oh, change the camera. Oh, I did not know that. Why is this camera like locked? No, okay. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna slow down to about half speed. Look at that. That big ship took in place at the cargo dock. So, um, another thing is, on the wheel, if you're in first person view, I'm going to slow down a bit more, on the wheel, if you're in first person view, there's all of these things, yeah, things, yeah, they're just things come out, right, and only way you can track how much you are turning is, so, so let's say, um, I just keep pressing S, right, and after I hold it down, and um, this stick gets to here, and this, and then this stick here gets down to here, that's 90 degrees rotation on the wheel, then it starts turning, right? Well, I know that it turned two sticks, so I can turn back one stick to get it to slow down with the turning, and so I can get it to stop easily. I can get it to stop when I want it to, I can get it to stop turning when I want it to stop turning easier. So, yeah. Hold on, let me just do this. I don't know what they're called. They might have some fancy name. As far as I'm concerned, no. <laughs> but, okay, what's wrong with Bowsprit is? Yeah, sorry, Bowsprit. You're gonna have to get stuck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's that. And, oh, yeah, when you're getting off. Okay, so this next part is just me telling you to when you're getting off, make sure that the seals are down. So that way your boat just doesn't keep ramming into the land when you're uh, off your boat. Because that's kind of uh, bad. Yeah. So. Voila! And that's that. Yeah. Uh, um, but that's basically it for this Basics 101 tutorial for sailing and getting around the map in your sailboat. Of course, if you're in a uh, iron... Uh... I don't know what they're called, ironclads? Yeah, ironclad. If you're in an ironclad, you can just use your steam engine. Or if you're in some boat that has a steam engine and you're in iron, you can just use your iron thing. Because I think that's why they call it in irons. Because then you have to use your thing made out of iron. So, yeah. I'm going to make my climb to the top of the mast. Yep, and I fell down, break my bones. Yep. Well, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, 101 basics tutorial for this. Um, again, if you found it useful or anything, please uh, like. And if you are interested in more trade lands or flight simulator videos, uh, please subscribe. I'm Southwest379. And, um, yeah, this is my boat named Osprey. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching to the end. This might be one of my longer videos. Bye!